Hi everybody, I'm Big Al with Country Music News International. We're here at CRS, another great artist which is firing up his own style. His name is Dane Lewis. Dane, I'm glad to have you on Country Thanks Music News International. Man. I appreciate it, man. Good luck. Well, Love the leather jacket you wear. Thank you, man. You know, I, I, I'd like to have one myself. I was going to say, i got to do the throw up. You know, it's like kind of kind of Western, kind of like biker Western. I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it, what you look like there is a little different between some fiery rock and roll Bob Seger and uh, <laughs> maybe some Waylon Jennings. I get Bob Seger more times than I can count, so that's the perfect hodgepodge, man. I love that. That's exactly my <laughs> MO, Bob Seger and Jennings. So, so um, Iowa. You're from Iowa. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what, did, did you work on a farm out there? Bet you did. Oh. Yep. Um, no, I did. Uh, my old man farmed. Um, he, we, he's since passed, we, but we farmed uh, corn and soybeans my whole life growing up. So that was kind of more what I did in high school. I didn't play sports. I played tractor. And so uh, I grain cart, uh, field cultivated, did everything like that for planting season. So that way I had money to buy music gear. And so yeah. that was kind of the thing. I played music and I did, uh, and I farmed. So that was good upbringing, man. I, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. So uh, while farming, uh, you bought your music gear, as you just said. How did you... Uh, I guess get as good as you are on guitar. Is it called practice after hours? Or Thank what? you. Um, no, I call it good enough to get paid. And no, I always I do always tell everybody I hire my better guitar players, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of a trip. Um, but no, I, I just kind of yeah stuck into it and leaned in really hard. And I really wasn't a good guitar player until about three four years ago at, in any capacity, and that till I had my one guitar player Nick Weeman. He goes. I played my guitar at Soundcheck one day. I was like, man, there's something's wrong with the guitar. And I was like, it's out of tune, really bad. And he goes, he plays it and he does just fine. And I was like, so what's wrong with it? And he goes, the player. <laughs> so I dove in 2020 actually was kind of a really good time for me to sit down when no one had anything going on mm -hmm. and kind of sat down, dove in, and learned how to play guitar a lot better. And that was just time spent. That's all it is. You know, what's, uh, what's interesting to me right now, the thought that came in my head when I'm looking at you, and everybody else, you look at him real good, is I got to thinking about Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, and here we have the people like Dane that's carrying on that outlaw country for Thank the new generation. Much, man. That's, and that's just exactly what you remind me of. That's the hope, man. I hope, so. I hope to do that. I hope to be that kind of spearhead for so that, man. Uh, Thank you. So that fiery guitar that you play on the stage, you've got uh, a new single out right now. Yes, sir. And uh, it's called uh, Fire. Yes, sir. I mean, it'll burn you up. A little bit. No. Hey, tell us about heating this up with fire. Man, man uh, so we released this song a couple years ago independently as a, uh, as just, you know, on our debut release. And then we kind of reshaped ourselves and we took, we did, made a kind of bold decision to take everything down. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, so we took everything off, all streaming services and everything like that. And then we kind of re, re gutted ourselves a little bit. And uh, went back in the studio and took that track from the first album, and we, we got Jeff King from uh, Reba McIntyre's band mm -hmm. to come in and do some session work and cut some guitar, and he laid down this really thick, heavy kind of metal guitar almost on it. It was awesome. <laughs> I loved it. And so, uh, so we laid that down and kind of got a really good, heavy track out of it, and it's just a good time song. There ain't no depth to it, but, uh, but it's fun. You know, it's a good, it's a good way for us to get our, our feet back in the door. And, um, and we got a new single in about a week coming out called Bad Guy that I think is kind of going to be a really good testament to what we do and what, who we are as well as fire. So, so what I'm thinking is uh, you have been selling out crowds all over Iowa and yep. probably other places you've mm -hmm. played. Do you pull a lot of energy from, from the crowd? 100%. Is that where you get it at? Yes, sir. You don't absolutely. even know you're on the stage playing because the energy and the adrenaline's flowing so heavy? It's the best, man. I'm glad you know that. That's It's, it's a cool thing, man, that the, the audience is 110%. And you were actually, I was, you know, not to be just a gossip person, but no, I was. Gossip, that's what we but, had, but I was sitting, but I was sitting around uh, recently, and a lot of the TikTok individuals that have blown up lately, I think they're disturbed because they didn't have to play a bar room for three people. You know, you learn how to play and, and run a crowd when you got to play for three or four people in a bar or just a bartender and no one's there. And then when you get that 600 to a thousand or five thousand crowd. 
you really know how to run it and you really know how to take that energy because you you, you learned how to live off three. So 5,000 is awesome, you know. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine a 15 minute guitar solo with all the riffs and everything. <laughs> and and you're, mocking every, you're mocking everybody out there in the crowd, but it's going to happen to you. You yeah. know it's going to. Well, I just hired the guitar solos down. I ain't good enough for that. <laughs> oh, boy, I know better than that. <laughs> So give everybody your website and media because we want to make sure they know where to come and see you at. Absolutely. Dane Lewis official. Dane like the dog. Lewis like St. Louis. DaneLewisOfficial.com will have everything, all the links to all the social media, uh, upcoming tour dates, merchandise, uh, how to contact us, get a hold of us, and maybe we can come play a time near you. If you guys have any recommendations of somewhere you want to see us, we're booking all kinds of dates right now, so uh, anytime, anywhere. Well, I'll tell you what, everybody, I've got his private number, and I'm going to give it to you right now unless he gives me that leather jacket. So what do you say? You know, what do you Let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're done for the day, cameraman. <laughs> anyway, you can check out Bain at his website and other social media. And for more country music news and bluegrass as well, you can check out Country Music News International. Dot com For Country Music News International, I'm Big Al, and we're going to let Dane Lewis get back to that fiery guitar. Thank you, Dane. Thank you very much, Al. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs>